Today I'll be taking you through iMyMap Cloud. For full access you will need to subscribe to iMyMap Freedom. Without iMyMap Freedom you can only store up to 5 maps in the cloud once every 24 hours. Synchronizing your mind maps to the cloud is a great way to safely store and back up your files and access them on your other devices. Firstly ensure that you are securely connected to the internet, then click on iMyMap Clouds located in the top left of the start page. The button can also be found at the bottom left corner throughout. A dialog box will then appear. This will ask you for your account username and password. After these have been entered, select Login. You will then see the iMyMap interface. Here you'll be able to access your maps uploaded to the cloud, your shared maps and maps that are shared with you, and view your contacts. To create a new mind map, select the new mind map button, select your central idea, the same way as you would have previously, and then name your map. I'll create a few branches on the map. and then save it. After I close the map and return to iMyMap Cloud, you can see that my newly created mind map has been added. The blue icon found on the thumbnail indicates that the map is ready to be synchronized. I'll click on the synchronize button to sync this map to the cloud. By clicking on the thumbnail you can see that information regarding the selected mind map will appear on the right hand side. This displays the modified date and created date. If I click on another thumbnail, you can see that this preview section will also display which contacts the map has been shared with. To open a mind map, you can simply double click on the thumbnail. Alternatively, you can select the open file in the preview section. I will now close this map to return to the cloud. To delete a mind map, select the mind map thumbnail and select the delete button next to synchronize. A feature exclusive to Freedom subscribers is Wayback. Wayback stores the entire history of every single one of your maps so no matter what changes you make, your ideas are safe. To access Wayback, select a mind map, then select the Wayback icon found in the preview panel. As you can see here, we can browse every revision of the mind map and revert to older versions using this process. You can also share your maps with others by selecting the share icon. Here you'll be able to select who you'd like to share your map with and also control their access privileges by choosing whether they can only view your map or also have editing capabilities. You can display more options in the preview panel by selecting the arrow button. Here you have the options to rename or delete your selected map. To create a folder, simply select the add folder icon and name your folder. You can also rename and delete your folder by selecting the icons here.